Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Athena. Please subscribe, like, and turn on your notification bell before you go. So today's video, as you can see by the title, is a full face using my mom's makeup. So yeah, she doesn't know I'm doing this. I did not ask her permission. I just did it. <laughs> Um, I was kind of limited on some items. We just worked with what we had. So I have her makeup bag here, which is literally from like 1985 or something. It's like plastic on the outside or I don't know, one that like you wipe easily, but like the pattern too. So I'm not trying to make fun of you. I love you, but I'm just saying. A little peek into her bag. Um, this is what it looks like. This stuff right here, I actually purchased all of this stuff for her. Oh, hi. <laughs> Are you interested? Okay. Um, this stuff I actually purchased for her uh, last year because I literally knew that some of her makeup was from 1985. So I was like, I need to upgrade you. So I did buy her like a bunch of stuff last year. And the rest is from God knows when. So the first thing that we're going to do is moisturize. This is also her moisturizer. Um, this is the Clarins Extra Firming Day Cream for dry skin, which I don't have. Oh, I need a mirror. Hold on. This is also her mirror. So let's use all of her stuff while we're at it, right? Okay, so yeah, I'm going to use the moisturizer first, which... I'm definitely not dry anymore and this is like way too thick for me but for using her makeup I might as well use all of her skincare too. It feels nice actually. It doesn't feel too heavy. My mom does not wear makeup on like a daily basis. She'll only really wear it if there's like a work thing going on or like picture day. Okay well there's no primer so I guess we'll just go right in with foundation. So her foundation, she uses the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur foundation. This I think is either, no, it's not discontinued, but they've repackaged and potentially reformulated it. This is in 204 Creamy Natural. This is going to be way too dark. It's like a moussey consistency. Instantly blurs the look of lines, spots, and uneven texture for younger looking skin in seconds. Skin feels touchably soft and smooth. Um, I do think like it blends on really nicely when I do do her makeup with it, but you definitely have to set this, otherwise it does actually like settle into her lines and wrinkles. Actually this color isn't horrible. I've had worse. I'm going to be using my tools because she literally doesn't have any. And I mean, I guess I should just be using nothing just like her, but we're not going to go that far, okay? This foundation is actually, if you put on it lightly, it's pretty good actually. Yeah, this is like a very air light texture. It really does blend in really well. I do feel like if you put on way too much though, it does um, settle in. Oh. <laughs> settle in to like lines and wrinkles and stuff. It didn't cover everything. Like I do have acne scarring, but I mean for a mature woman, it's not bad. Okay, next I'm going to conceal. This is the Urban Decay um, Weightless Coverage, whatever the fuck it is, in medium light neutral. This is like really dark. Yeah, she needs something lighter than this, but also this texture is just all wrong for mature skin. I did buy this concealer for her. a year ago, but now I can think of better ones to give to her, actually. 
Well, this color, yeah, it's like a little dark. But for a mature skin, I mean, really, you want to match it as close as possible to their actual skin tone because they don't need um, that, like, highlight under their eyes because of um, the texture and wrinkling and things like that. Okay, then I'm going to put this on my eyelids to, I guess, like prime a little. So, powder. The Smashbox Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder in Fair Light. I also bought this for her. Oh my god, she has a horrible little puff in here. If she didn't have these things from when I purchased them, like, she would have nothing. I'm just gonna grind some up, get some on my sponge. Well, thank you. A little weirdo. I'm just gonna take a BH Cosmetics. This is from the Aesthetic Couture, and I'm just going to, again, take the powder and just set the eye. Um, if you are mature, you don't necessarily need to use powder. If you don't set your face, you'll have like a more natural, youthful kind of glow, which will make you look younger. If you are matte and flat, it will make you look older. But a tip, if you roll the brush under your eye, it will give you a really light dusting. Some people have deeper under eye wrinkles of course so if you are finding that your concealer or foundation is settling into that if you just lightly kind of roll the brush with the powder in it it will just give you a really soft effect anyway so yeah little tip okay let me set the rest of my face is just a Walmart brush halo powder is nice it's like a hydrating powder there is no luminosity to it it's not like the Clarins loose powder or the Dior loose powder those ones actually have an iridescent or shimmer into them um, those ones I don't necessarily recommend for a mature skin just because the iridescence can make the texture in the face look more prominent but if you are concerned about still wanting to look healthy and glowy and dewy really what you need to do is use cream products they have that natural glow to them so like a nice cream blush if you want a powder use something like a hydrating powder something loose airy but again don't pack it on like i am just because of the texture that's on a more mature person's face. This is the Smashbox Brow Tech Gloss Stick. Now this is discontinued. It glides on well. It's not super precise because it is a more chunky pencil. It is nice for someone who just kind of wants to fill in their brows quick. And also I feel like this gloss um, texture is much more natural than um, a matte one. It's not something I would use, but again, just speaking from a more mature So I definitely feel like this was way faster than the ones I use. Okay, so I'm gonna do eyes next. This is the Guerlain eyeshadow palette. This is a number one Rose Babare or something like that, I don't know. I did purchase this for her. This was hella expensive, it was like 70 something dollars or something crazy. Um, her other palette that she had was more in the purple tones. So that's why I got her the more purpley one. So I'm gonna take the third color right here. That one's matte. And I'm just going to pick it up on a BH Cosmetics Setted Couture number no. 9 brush. I love BH Cosmetics brushes. I've said this a thousand million times. 
um it's just really nice you can get a what is it called a um set for like 20 25 dollars so this isn't really that pigmented You know, for a palette this expensive, you'd expect some more pigment, but I mean the line is really nice for more mature people anyway, so maybe that's why it's not that pigmented. But no, it's perfect for someone like my mom who doesn't need a ton of pigment, just like a little bit of a, a something something, you know? Clean NYX blending brush number 16, and I'm just going to blend that a little bit better and then move on because I'm not going to do 15 layers. Okay, so now that we have barely anything on our eyes, I am going to grab a flat brush like this. This is from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and I'm going to take the second color here because it's shimmery and I'm going to put that all over the lid. My shirt is like everything. It says better late than ugly. True. I got it from Etsy. I will leave the seller below. I did purchase it with my own money. Just so you know. I also bought a black one. Okay, whatever, good enough. Um, I'm gonna take my blending brush again, which has gone missing. Oh, there it is. Man, what lip am I gonna do with this? All she has is freaking red. An angled brush, this is also from the BH Cosmetics and Setted Kitsura brush. And I'm gonna go into um, this fourth color. It's like a shimmery purple. And I'm gonna put that close to the lash line I don't know I guess the same blending brush and just kind of smoke this out of it this is a really good technique for mature women if you put a darker color um, just like an eyeshadow by the lash line. It will appear that their eyelashes are a little bit thicker. Also, with this powder that I forgot to mention, only grind up what you need. Don't grind up any more than what you're gonna use because there is active vitamins and minerals in this powder. There's 12 amino acids in it, which is what gives the hydration so if you grind it all up, then the vitamins and minerals die, and then you don't get the benefits of the actual powder. So, another tip. Oh, she has no eyebrow gel. Oh my god. Should I just use mascara <laughs> for my eyebrow gel? Fuck it, we're gonna do that. Oh my god, should I? It's fucking black. Well, we're gonna try it. It worked. This is the... Maybelline Great Lash. I feel like every mom has this. <laughs> this is the Marcel Blush in Raspberry Hypoallergenic Fragrance Free Dermatologist Tested. Uh, oh my god. Oh, there's a brush in here. If you are sensitive, um, Beach Cosmetics, again, from the eco-friendly something rather line. If you are sensitive, this brand reminds me very much of Clinique, but but better, honestly. They have great lipsticks. Their lipsticks are so good. They're a Canadian company, and they don't have a ton of like chemical crap in them. Oh my God, this is way too much blush. Oops. And, and then their blushes are pigmented, so I mean, there's that too. Oh my God, I hope that this wasn't in like an, a certain order because I have fucked, oh my God. Oh my fuck, I broke it. I broke it. Oh god. Oh god. But I like the color, so we're gonna use it. I didn't fucking break it. I who broke it? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna take a, a real techniques what what is this? 
detailer brush and I have like a lot on here, it like melted. So we're going to use this color. Maybe we'll throw on a berry on top, you know? It's as good as it's going to get. Again, this does not go, no, it doesn't go, whatever. Okay, <laughs> so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed. Um, I would love to do my mom's makeup on camera, but I don't think that she's comfortable with that. Unfortunately, I would love to do like a mature tutorial, but again, I have to have some kind of consent here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you in my next video. Toodles!